three, two, one. The phone is behind schedule. So it looks like we're on scope. How you doing, scopers? For those of you who don't know, Magic Brad's a name. Marketing's my game. So some of you see me and my dog walk dailies, but uh, today I'm just kind of chilling out at the house. And uh, let me see if I can add this little comment now that says I can wait. There it is. See? This is what I'm doing today is I'm uh, getting some input on reaching homeowners and see if anybody's got any insights and knowledge and wisdom in that area. Um, what I am doing now is I am working to help uh, real estate agents find people that own homes and looking to sell them or buy them. And I'm also looking for uh, working with people in the home improvement area. You know, people that do roofing and siding and windows and doors and kitchen cabinets and bathroom remodeling and building out basements and refinishing and asphalts and landscaping and stump removal and swimming pools and all that stuff. Solar, solar power, installing solar energy so they don't have to pay energy bills. So I'll just keep an eye on this to see if anybody pops in here. So it's not that easy to find homeowners um, these days. And the reason I'm picking homeowners is because the home improvement people aren't going to be you know, doing stuff with apartment dwellers. That would be more commercial real estate thing or commercial contractors. And I'm going more for the residential. So trying to find the homeowners and uh, trying to pick and choose and find out who is it that owns a home and who is an apartment dweller. Try and separate the two because I don't want to waste a bunch of time and energy going for apartment dwellers that don't have homes. But it just occurred to me, maybe their parents have homes or maybe their siblings have homes. And maybe I could uh, do some marketing to get them to referrals that way. So that's what's happening in this world. Not sure what's happening in yours. You'll have to tell me. You can leave it in the comments. Wherever the comments are. I'm not sure. They could be anywhere. I don't know. <laughs> so today I've got a call with a guy that uh, is, a, is a Facebook ad expert. I'm going to have a little uh, chat with him to see if he can help me drive traffic to this. And it's a little bit different because I'm not really doing a, a landing page, so to speak, where the person puts in their name and phone number and email address and all that. What I'm doing is I'm directing people to an event. And it's not a live event where you can catch COVID. It's a virtual event, online, webinar, infomercial. And these infomercials will be uh, educational and informational and entertaining on how to uh, do different tasks around the house, how to hire a contractor, how to hire a, a, a roofing or a siding guy, you know, questions to ask your contractor when you're doing a bathroom remodel. Do I need permits? All those different things. So it goes on and on and on and on. And uh, the big challenge these days, because there are these platforms out there, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, the list goes on and on. Periscope, that's a platform. TikTok, I don't know about that TikTok one. That's kind of weird to me. And uh, there's also like marketplaces and things where, uh, what's it one called? One's called... Uh, Bigger pockets, a lot of uh, real estate investor type people in there. Um, front door might be an interesting, uh, well, that's not really just homes, is it? You know, about front door. Good old Craigslist, that's an interesting spot, but, uh, you know, they, I don't know. That's where I'm going to, that's where I'm asking your help. If you can let me know in the comments, if you know some good sources for, for targeting homeowners. And in a specific geographic area, not just homeowners across the country or the whole world, I want to target specific areas like maybe a 10-mile radius or a 50-mile radius of Minneapolis-St. Paul area or a 10-mile radius or 50-mile radius of, of uh, Borrego Springs in the desert or um, what's that place out there? Temecula, Temecula, California. People that live in that area, 
I want to be able to target these specific residential areas and then working with the home improvement people in that specific area to get them business. So that's, that's the direction I'm going now with all of this kind of stuff. And I'm keeping this one kind of short. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I know that you're busy and I'm busy. Everybody's busy being busy. And there's only 24 hours in a day, so you got to kind of keep it kind of tight, right? Keep it kind of tight. So if uh, you're watching this on the replay, if you could comment in there, replay, so I can kind of know who's uh, watching on the replay and who's watching in the in the live, if that's possible to do that. I'm not sure. And if you can share this, share this with other people, that's much appreciated. So I'm going to sign this off. Um, I appreciate you uh, watching as you are now. If you know how to follow me on Periscope, I'm also on other platforms, uh, good old YouTube. You can check it out on YouTube. And that's where I load these videos up and store them. And I need help putting those out to the world too, constantly getting the right search engine optimization and all the SEO stuff that gets people to find things on the internet. It's different than it used to be. It's very saturated with a lot of people trying to make a lot of noise, especially with the COVID thing going on. There's nobody at work anymore. They're all at home playing on the internet or working on the internet. That's what I'm doing. I'm working. All righty, folks. That's it. I'm gone. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Be nice. Be kind. Be friendly. Be peaceful. And have a good day. See ya.